Hello, my name is Dr. Jordan E. Montana Richards, and welcome to my vlog on the importance of interactivity and engagement in online higher education. Today, I'm going to be discussing the importance of interactive and engaging learning tools in online higher education, some of the interactive educational or gamified tools available and comparing their strengths and weaknesses, I will even invite you to participate in an interactive lesson I have created for my favorite learning tools. Lastly, I will conclude this presentation with a reminder about the purpose of educational technology in the modern age that we live in. The importance of interactivity and engagement comes from research that showcases evidence of increasing student engagement resulting in increased intrinsic and extrinsic motivation to learn, which results in academic success, improvements in retention, test scores, and a desire to learn. Around the world, education, particularly high, online higher education, is facing a student engagement crisis. Current and future 21st century generations of learners are digital natives, having only ever grown up around technology and utilizing technology such as cell phones, iPads, laptops, and computers. Further, there is an inextricable link between digital natives and playing digital video games. The COVID-19 pandemic has become famous in all levels of education for accelerating the move to online learning. For digital natives, enrolling in online education, particularly higher education, comes with weighing the online distractions, such as scrolling through YouTube shorts, social media, and playing video games, with, in comparison, boring and tedious self-paced learning or Zoom classes. Therefore, education needs to adapt. Students are disengaging from online education because very little grabs their attention. Digital natives are used to interactive and engaging content. The solution for education comes, at least in part, through digital game-based learning, a method of facilitating learning that utilizes successful game design principles, psychology, mechanics, dynamics, and aesthetics. According to Scrum and Summerfield 2018, the advantages of student engagement and interactivity specifically for digital game-based learning tools consists of facilitating meaningful and complex skill acquisition, at-home learning and student engagement, utilizing digital game-based learning, game-based learning and gamification as tools to develop content knowledge, learning strategies, motivation, social interactivity, creativity, and innovation, improving group dynamics, and preparing students for the digital age workforce. Some disadvantages include game requirements and student capacity to engage with and play the game, user interface and design issues or considerations, preparation, setup, management of implementation and data entry, as well as the monthly or annual premium service fees. As an academic scholar of digital game-based learning and online higher education, I have found that a bridge between education and digital games can exist. A concept-focused game produced by educators with students in mind. This includes adapting game mechanics, dynamics, and elemental aesthetics to those commonly seen in popular games such as World of Warcraft, and replacing the entertainment purpose gameplay, magic, with science and technology, and fictional worlds and characters with content-focused, themed, and purposed locations, pioneers, and important figures of the given discipline. My top three favorite website tools currently available to professionals in the higher education sector are Kahoot, ThingLink, and GymKit. Three important aspects to consider are cost, user interface, and classroom design. Cost refers to the monthly or annually reoccurring fees, free features, and premium features. User interface determines how easy it is for students and educators to utilize the learning tool. A simple or complex setup, the customization options for presenting information on slides and facilitating quizzes, game mechanics, design and aesthetics, and of course, whether or not it is fun. Classroom design refers to the logistics of implementing and utilizing the tool in an in-person or online learning environment. Now, I will give an individual review of of each of the three learning tools and at the end provide an overview of ratings determining my opinion of their strengths and weaknesses. Welcome to Kahoot, a super simple and very easy website tool that provides everything for you, the background, the music, and an intuitive template for informational slides and quizzes. Did I mention that the Kahoot is forever free? 
Of course, all free template, uh, all free tools have their limitations. Kahoot Premium Services offer a wider range of variety in games and slides and quiz types. Overall, I find Kahoot to be affordable, intuitive, very easy to set up, forever free, and fun. Perhaps the easiest option to set up and the best option for short turnaround times if finances are an issue. Welcome to ThingLink, a professional website tool that offers amazing amounts of detail, interactivity, and engagement, including 3D virtual and 2D interactive learning environments. However, a lot of preparation and professional work is required. The potential of this tool is measured by the quality of resources and amount of time invested. This tool offers the ability to provide information and assessment, as well as game-based mechanics of autonom autonomous choice, informational and interactive hotspots and points. Overall, I find ThingLink to be individually affordable, collectively the most expensive option, intuitive but complex. While ThingLink does not offer games in the same manner as the other options, it is the most professional option and offers frameworks for a different kind of engagement and interactive game-based learning. However, proper quality, preparation, and design are required. Welcome to GymKit. With its absolutely phenomenal game-based mechanics, dynamics, and aesthetics in all its game modes, although my favorite are the free classic and draw that game modes, low preparation that can be done fairly quickly, the gamified aesthetics of primarily the music but also the background facilitating a sense of momentum is sure to keep students of all ages engaged with this interactive and gamified learning tool. A great way to gamify quizzes and assess students' learning needs. Overall, I find GymKit to be a better version of Kahoot in terms of quizzes. GymKit is a bit pricey, but potentially the least expensive option. GymKit offers an intuitive and simple setup and is amazingly fun. My official ranking on the three digital game-based learning website tools, GymKit, ThingLink, and Kahoot. But wait, there is more, ladies and gentlemen. I have reordered this listing of tools for minimal preparation ranking, optimal preparation ranking, gamified ranking, and professional aesthetic ranking. In short, if I had a summer to prepare a course, I would choose ThingLink hands down. If I had a week to prepare material, I would select either GymKit or Kahoot. My interactive and engaging online lesson starts in ThingLink and finishes with a GymKit quiz. Be sure to invite your friends and I hope you enjoy. Remember, the technology, digital or physical, is simply a tool, a means to an end. Kahoot, ThingLink, and GymKit, all of these educational technologies and game-based learning websites or tools have one common goal, to engage students and facilitate teaching and learning. Scholars support the utilization of Kahoot and ThingLink, not for their technological advancements, but for their capabilities and potential value of assisting teachers and students by facilitating flexible digital and asynchronous platforms and student-centered learning for in-person, online, and blended learning environments. My personal philosophy of education holds that the purpose of education is to reproduce moral and logical behaviors, go beyond instruction into practical application, and establish values in learners that help them learn how to be productive and successful members in society, and for Christian education, helping learners become a light to the world and an influence for the kingdom of God. Thank you for your time and attention.